What is this clock? It feels as though you've been dumped in the deep end. And there's nobody there to rescue you. I don't know how to listen to speak to anybody. I don't think you'll ever get used to it. You know, it's always loneliness. How do you measure loneliness? And even trying to talk about it takes your breath away. The room's just empty. Ninety-one-year-old Margaret Nicholas has lived in this house virtually her whole life. First with her parents, then her husband and family. Two years ago, her husband died. Now it's just her. We used to do the garden together. We did our shopping together. Everything we did together. We obviously miss him. Margaret's granddaughter takes her shopping and neighbours pop in to check she's okay. But it's everyday company she misses. Some people think me a bit odd, but I do catch up to my husband. I do, I do it so I sort of spin off speaking. That's the word for the cousin. Roy Croucher lives a short drive away. He and Margaret have loneliness in common. He lost his only son to cancer, and then his wife for 50 years. I'm always hoping that the wife will come through the door, but she never will. If you go out, you come back, and you come back to an empty house, you know, and it's loneliness again. And you're always waiting for somebody to call. Roy says he's lucky. A friend and her family see him most weeks. But like Margaret, some days the only voice he hear is a call from a phone befriending service run by volunteers. Julie brings up on a Saturday night. Because last Saturday she was the first person I spoke to all day. And that's a long day. It is a long day. difference has that made, that phone call that comes on Saturday night when you haven't spoken to anyone else all day? Well, I always look forward to it. I always put that phone on the seat, ready to pick it up. That's a, a great help. The campaign to end loneliness says it should now be treated as a public health issue. Identifying the most vulnerable is critical and offering support to cope with the bewildering and painful reality of end of I've never been had my own ever before. No. And so getting used to that has been hard. I don't think I should ever get really used to it. Just something that uh, is thrown at you. You know, you can't get to, you can't uh, throw it back to anybody. You know, you've got to just carry on.